Joining us now at the Innovation Cafe is our very own Chris Abel. It is brought to you by Kobo.com, and there are big things going on at the ROM. And blue things. So they've got a big, huge exhibit devoted to the blue whale. Oh. Uh, sadly, since the 1960s, when whaling ended, the population of blue whales have not recovered, and nobody knows why. So at the heart of this exhibit is a massive, beautiful blue whale skeleton, one of nine that showed up dead off the coast of Newfoundland. I talked to the museum scientists about how these whales are playing a role in promoting conservation and generating new science. Here is Dr. Mark Engstrom. The government of Canada has actually come forward and generated more marine protected areas, which has been really, really important to be able to conserve both the whales and the other organisms that occur in that habitat. So if we can stimulate organizations like the government to be more concentrated on conservation and to create these protected areas, we'll go a long way to saving the whales. We don't know exactly why these animals haven't recovered, and we're hoping some of the research that we'll do uh, will give us some clues and maybe some ways in which we can protect the environment. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So in addition to employing scientists, the museum also has authors and illustrators that work for them, and they have created a children's book. It's called The Day the Ocean Disappeared. It is illustrated by Tara Winterholt, and I spoke to the author, Denise Diaz. It's kind of teaching kids that you're meant to be different and unique. Sometimes a visit to a museum or a cultural institution can really enlighten aspects of your history and culture that you might have not been aware of. Denise is currently pregnant. She's expecting a little girl um, now or maybe an <laughs> hour from now or maybe tomorrow. And so she was very happy for the distraction when I asked her to recommend some cool books. Because I'm expecting my first child and because I've been doing a lot of background research for this children's book, lately I've been reading a lot of kids' books. <laughs> so I think anything by Oliver Jeffers is amazing, especially The Heart in the Bottle. It's an incredible ebook that's read by Helen Bonham Carter. I also was just recently introduced to Jeremy Tankhart, and he has really cute books, one of them being Grumpy Bird, which is about a bird that wakes up grumpy and goes for a walk with all of his forest friends and feels better in the end. Kobo makes it easier to access the stories you love and discover new ones in an instant. Over 5 million ebooks, a personalized reading experience and points earned with every purchase. Visit kobo.com today and open up.